We're rolling whenever. Well, yeah. They're Comedy talking. effect. Comedy effect. Nothing Josh does is funny. Haha. <laughs> I'm recording, by the way. Anyway, um, yeah. Hi, guys. It's uh, Jake here from Team C4G. Um, I'm here with the uh, profile I had for coming first at the uh, Return to Yu-Gi-Oh! event uh, last week. Sorry, I'm getting it to you late. Um, I feel like Lachlan was avoiding taping this because he doesn't like talking about us. <laughs> no, he does not. <laughs> <laughs> no, he does not enjoy talking about my decks. Um, okay, so yeah, um, I played uh, four rounds of Swiss uh, that went to a top eight cut um, and ended up winning. Uh, we'll talk about the matchups in a minute, but yeah, I played uh, Invoked Dogmatica. Uh, so let's go through it. We are, of course, here live at local, so if you hear Josh freak out, Ignore him. Ah, yeah, please. it's alright, we'll put Salad in the tag and then we'll get all these fanboys in it. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, we have three uh, Alistar, one, he does not need explanation. Two, uh, we have three Ecclesia. Someone the other day when Lachlan was doing his howling list, when he's like, Dynamis howling, needs no explanation. I had someone actually be like, I needed an explanation and I was like, okay. Look it up and read it. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, three Ecclesia, two Fleur, one Max, pretty standard ratio there. Uh, then we go three Ash Blossom, the Gamma and Driver. Uh, so that's all the main deck monsters. Uh, we have three Meltdown and three Invocation. Um, I play three because you can't be a true Invoke player and open up the Invocation after Alistair's Negged if you're not playing maximum copies. You need to play maximum copies. To be fair, you can play one and you'd still see it. <laughs> Sometimes. I play one. Yeah, well. Yeah, uh, so then we move on to Triple Tactics, uh, one of the two draw cards I have in the deck. This came in very clutch for you through the whole tournament. Oh, absolutely. It was like, yeah, that was pretty much why I won a lot of um, my games, is just baiting out effects and then getting tactics to either gain advantage or draw or negapone a little bit. Uh, three Nadir to start the engine of the Dogma. Uh, triple Droplets. Uh, and then my other draw card was the Spellbook Engine. Um, I find the Spellbook Engine better in this deck as opposed to, uh, say, Pot of Desires or Pot of um, Extravagant. No, not Extravagant, um, uh, Prosperity. Um, uh, for a few reasons. A, part of prosperity is very expensive. Um, two, it takes stuff out of your extra deck, which in this deck is a problem. You want as much stuff in your extra deck as possible for your dogma plays. And then three, um, yeah, this clears the board. If you're doing standard plays, you summon this thing, use that, get rid of that. Yeah. And if someone has a specific hand trap that they want to wait until you invocation, it, turns it, you gamma. it leaves gamma life. Yeah. Also, like, the value, out of, getting extra value out of that Link 1 is so clutch. Oh, 100%. It's like, not only having a Link 1 for the Alistair to go into, but then, like, the knowledge to just be like, and eh, now I'm going to draw two cards. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh. Um, and then the other thing is, too, if you do happen to have a shitty hand and you have these two as well, you can just use that, pitch that, and one draw anyway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the last spells for the deck, we've got one Call By, one Duster, and one Terra. Um, I have thought about bumping up the Spell and Trap removal just because Spell and Trap back row is pretty prevalent, but I've got that in the sign. Josh just waved as if he was on camera to be like, <laughs> yeah, he's doing it for me. Idiot. Pretty much. Uh, then we've got three Imperm, one Schism, and I'm one Punishment. Again, fairly standard. A lot of people are playing two of that. I usually don't off. need, like, it kind of wins more if you have two and, like, you just recycle it if you need it. Yeah. Uh, and then the extra deck, so the aforementioned Artemis. Uh, then we go Invoked cards, we got three Macabre, one Orguides, and one Purgatrio. Purgatrio is a game ender. If people leave their board open and you just summon Purgatrio, you kill them. Uh, then we've got uh, the Shadol package, so one Aquilone, one Construct, one Winder. Um, again, fairly self explanatory there. Uh, we've got the random fusions, Titanoclad. Entus and uh, Five Head Dragon. Uh, that was in case I played a random matchup where they just have something massively beefy that I can't get over with monsters, uh, just to make sure that I could clear it with punishment. Um, chiefly, uh, what's the card I was thinking of? You used this against me when um, I had the Dragon Mage Shield on board. Because I was like, I did. I did oh, yeah. yes, he can't target my shoe, so I'm fine. And I was like, oh, wait, he can target my shoe. I will need to negate now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this boy. I was thinking of this boy specifically. Yes. Um, yeah, because there's nothing else out in the deck other than like uh, droplets or imperm that can out it, so having a, another option is always good. Um, and then it's another dark engrave to um, have for schism plays. 
and you Whoa. can banish it off all readies to have a 7,000 attack monster. We did consider switching that for Dragon Master Knight to give you a light for Macabre as well, so that's something to keep in mind. Exactly, yeah. Uh, if you feel that you're not getting enough lights in this deck, which I honestly don't you know how, yeah. like you should be getting plenty of lights, um, that is an option, but I prefer that one because getting Dark's Engrave uh, for Schism seems better than anything else. Yeah. Uh, and then lastly we have Omega, Wind Pegasus, and the only other link in the deck, which is the BLS link. Soon to be Ghost, Soon maybe. Soon to be Ghost Rare. Um, Any important side cards? Not really. Not um, just pretty generic? Like, fairly generic. Um, yeah, all fairly standard. I did finally find Cosmic Cyclones. Um, I was playing Silent Graveyard for a while just because I didn't have that, but this is so much better. Um, yeah. Do you want to talk um, matchups? So yeah, uh, first matchup was Virtual World. They kind of bricked. Um, I kind of felt bad, but also it's Virtual World. They lost their win one, so then. Um, second matchup was um, like a Zodiac Mech Knight Dragoon thing. And I'm, I just bricked, to be honest. Like I wouldn't know what the matchup was like because my opening hand was all Dogma cards, which were two Nadir, two Fleur, and one Maximus, and both got both uh, Nadirs got negated, so I just didn't get to play, and then my second hand wasn't any better. Um, third matchup was Lenoi, um, that was scary, um, that deck can either do nothing or do everything, uh, this time it did nothing, which is awesome. Um, and then game four was Mystic Mind, um, and that's where the Cosmics came in, because obviously Silent Graveyard doesn't do enough to them. So um, I think the main way I won both times was, oh, game one I think I won the die roll, so I just set up the carve up and just waited to be able to make something important. Um, and then game two it was starting in Cosmic, and then when he activated Field Barrier, just Cosmic oh, yeah. everywhere, and that's the game. Um, First round of top eight was essentially the same matchup. <laughs> yeah, kind of. So as Lachlan alluded to in his video, my first matchup in top eight was against him. Um, and he's right to an extent in that my knowledge of the deck was the thing that won more so than my actual deck, because having first Lachlan a lot, I know how to play around that particular play style. Um, and then I think game three, he didn't open that well either. So that's always a thing. Um, the second match in top cut was you. Yep, um, sadly. And yet yeah, you, again, didn't open all that well. Game, uh, game one, one was very, very well. Yeah, game one was very grindy. There was a little back and forth, but then, like that, like that deck tends to do, it just snowballed and I couldn't get over it. Um, then games two and three, you just, yeah, open garbage. I was playing Dragon Mate. Yeah, you were playing Dragon Mate. And then the last game of the day was against Dino, which can be a scary matchup, but um, the guy was playing a more budget variant, I guess. Um, which probably played a part, but also I happened to have responses for everything. Yeah. Um, so, like, like, the two plays that I remember most are um, having only... He had a baby, because uh, his play the turn before was try and summon baby, summon token, and then do that play, but I had the Cosmic for the field spell. Yeah. Um, so I punishment the baby, um, sent Titanic Lab. He tries to activate baby, I chain call by to negate it, and then I tactics to draw two, just to get me back into the play. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't think I've drawn anything off it to be fair. Oh, I might have drawn an Alistair, but like being locked out of the extract, I didn't see the point in summoning it. Yeah. Um, and then type of flat search. And then I think either in that same game or the game after, um, he had just an Ovi Raptor and UCT on board, and I had two Flirtily and a um, Ecclesia on board. This and was also on like turn nine. <laughs> yeah, like it, it had gone a while. Every um, response, he, he was struggling to find responses, and everything he found, you just got rid of. And then eventually he was like, well, I'm just going to have to. UCT away my entire hand. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, and then yeah, so the one of the flirtilies had already um, gone up to 30, oh, 3 k 3 k So all it needed to do was attack and then punch over and I would have won the game. So it forced him to then try and flip them all before battle phase. Uh, but that that opened him up to tactics, so I just stole the UCT and attacked again. That was U35, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, all in all, good day, good stall. Um, shout out to Stephen Medhurst and the crew, at, the guys at RC Crew Games. Um, good event, really well run. Happy to go back there again. Um, took, and yeah, took home what was it six OTS? Uh, six OTS, a pack of Phantom Rage, Field Center, um, four lost starts, four, and the playmat. Yeah, so deep, very good surprise. We don't uh, have the playmat with us. Yeah, no, it's still sitting in my car somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, thanks uh, for watching. If you have any questions about the profile, feel free to uh, put them in the comments below or uh, jump into our Discord. A link will be in the description um, and have a chat about anything there. Um, like and subscribe, all that kind of jazz, and we'll talk to you again next time.
Bye.